Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Cam Ward and today we're going to run through how to create proxies in Premiere Pro. This should really speed up your workflow and editing inside Premiere if you're running on an older computer. So first of all, let's import our footage. We're going to take some footage here from LA, so press import. Okay, so now that this folder is imported, right click on it, go down to proxy, create proxies. The proxies I would normally use are QuickTime. Normally I go for ProRes. If you're on a PC, you can go for the GoPro Cineform. So now let's create a new folder for our proxies. So press here, and here, LA. And let's just make a new folder called Proxies. So hit OK. And now it's gonna open Media Encoder to start creating these proxies. Okay, so as you can see, it's loading all of our footage into Media Encoder. So now all our footage is imported into Media Encoder and it's beginning to create the proxy files. At this point, I suggest go and get yourself your fifth coffee of the day and uh, just go chill for a little bit. Okay, so once our proxies are complete, let's load a clip into a timeline. Hit this little plus button over here and this here is the toggle proxy button. So let's drag this onto our bar here so hit ok let's select our clip and hit the toggle proxy button this switches it into the proxy mode so it's now the low quality file once we're done and you know we want to switch back to our high res version click it again and we're back to the high quality version this should save you a ton of time if you're editing on a slow computer remember to switch it back if you're going to do any grading so you can see the full quality version but yeah that's pretty much it it's that easy that simple this clip here is from an upcoming vlog from uh, la so you know if you want to check that out then be sure to subscribe and i will catch you in the next one